Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and today we're going to talk a little bit about adding a backhoe to a compact tractor. Compared to any other attachment that you can put on a tractor, a backhoe is a very expensive option. And it's not nearly as capable as something like a mini excavator. So there's a lot of debate online in forums and Facebook groups and stuff like that about whether or not it really makes sense to spend that much money on that unit. And I've had mine for a few years, I've used it a lot, and I'm just going to give my opinion. And these types of videos where I just sit around and give my opinion, I usually call those Brock Talk videos, and I normally film those on my front porch. But I got a request from a regular viewer saying I ought to film them down by the pond. So I thought we'd see if that makes a little bit nicer backdrop. And you guys know how much I love my pond. So I want to start off by comparing cost and practicality between renting a mini excavator every time you need to use it and buying a tractor backhoe. Now your numbers are going to vary whether we're talking about the rental, which will vary depending on your location and the size of machine you're getting, or if we're talking about the backhoe, that's going to vary based on the brand that you have and the model of tractor. But my compact tractor, 38 horsepower, 2 series John Deere, the backhoe was $9,000. And that is a lot of money. And the first thought you have is, man, you could rent an a mini excavator a lot of times for $9,000. So let's look at that claim first. It cost me $200 to $250 to rent a mini excavator. I know that because I've rented one twice since I've had my tractor backhoe, and we'll get into that later, why I did that. But $250 a rental, four times is a thousand, times nine, you're at 36 times you could rent a mini excavator. And I just checked my playlist. I have a playlist that's just for the backhoe. And I have 34 videos in my backhoe playlist. Means I've used it on camera 34 times. So it's probably actually more than that. 34 times using that backhoe would equate to the cost of renting it. It would have already paid for itself. But to be fair, some of those tasks, I would have saved those up and done them in, in clusters so I didn't have to rent the machine 34 times. So I don't want to make the case that it's paid for itself because it's probably not true. And you get more bang for your buck if you rent the backhoe or the mini excavator for a week. It was around $1,100 when I rented it for a week. And probably three or four times I could have done all this work. The problem with that math is my backhoe is not worthless today. If I was to sell my tractor, I could get four or five thousand extra dollars because of the fact that the tractor comes with a backhoe that's quick attach and, and fit to that machine. So if you really just want to base it on math, you would say, what is the depreciation of the backhoe versus the rental cost? because it's gonna be a long time before that backhoe is worth nothing. And if you're looking at it from that standpoint, I think the backhoe looks a little bit better. Now, no matter how you look at it, it comes down to how frequently do you use it. I've used mine a lot, and I have a lot going on, and I do some projects for YouTube, even. So I probably use it more than most people, but I thought those numbers might surprise a lot of you. Here's the bigger point to me. It's not really about numbers at all to me, because if I was just doing math, I probably wouldn't own a tractor at all. I would pay someone to brush hog for me. I would pay someone to till a garden for me. I mean, because I had a tractor, I could till my own pumpkin patch, but I also could have paid someone $100 to do that. And my tractor came in, my tractor cost like $31,000, but it came in a package with a bunch of attachments, the backhoe, a mower, tiller, box blade, and a trailer and other stuff, and it was $50,000. For $50,000, I could pay people to do work out here a lot. But that's not the point at all. The point is, where I'm at in my life is I want to come outside and work on stuff. 
and I want to be able to do that, and I want to be capable, and I want to run in machines. And so it doesn't matter what the math says. I have it because I want it. And that's a good enough answer. If you want it and you can afford it, that's all the reason you need. The math doesn't have to add up. It doesn't have to make anybody else happy. So I've kind of explained why I have a tractor backhoe, why I wanted one. In large part, I hate renting equipment. I feel like it's throwing away money, whereas purchasing is more like investing in something that you'll still have later. But there are a couple really important factors that could sway it the other way. And I want to get into some of that. And first of all, your budget really matters. I mean, for a lot of people, a tractor is something, you know, you've got other responsibilities in life and, you know, a lot of other things to worry about. And having a tractor at all might be kind of a luxury. And, you know, that's why I see a lot of, a lot of intelligence in the guy who's buying the uh, $17,000 e-model tractor or another brand that's that's less expensive than mine. That's probably a smarter purchase to begin with. Maybe skip the bells and whistles. Just get something that gets the work done you need to get done. So I can definitely see the budget side of it. But another aspect of it is I own the tractor backhoe and I have personally rented a mini excavator twice since buying the tractor backhoe and i did two one week long rentals that were like eleven hundred dollars each time so i had two specific projects that my backhoe would have just been ineffective on the first time was leveling the pad for the quonset hut and i brought someone in here to help me make sure i did a good job with that and i asked him what he needed and he said a small mini excavator and so that's what i got him and I was paying him by the hour. And we put like 55 hours on that machine. And I was paying him by the hour. Think how many hours that would have been trying to do it with a less capable machine. So in that scenario, it made sense. And, you know, if you're a business owner, it's a different conversation. But in that scenario, I needed a machine that could work quicker. The second time was for the pond. And for a pond, for like reshaping the pond bank or dredging out the pond, a tractor backhoe is not just slower, it's completely useless. Because a tractor backhoe can dig deep enough for most jobs, it can lift enough for most jobs, it's just slower. Where a tractor backhoe really fails is when you're digging into an enclosed area. Like, up against the pond bank, no matter how I angled the tractor or set anything up, I could not reach into the pond and then set the spoils far enough away that I could move them. So, no matter what I tried, it just it, it couldn't accomplish anything on the pond. So there are some times when a mini excavator is the only tool for the job. Let's go back to the math side of it for just a minute. A thought occurred to me when I was walking through one of these trade shows and there was a mini excavator that I swear I could wrap my arms around the whole thing. Like the seat on it was barely chest high. This thing was tiny. It probably didn't weigh 2,000 pounds. And it look, I, I was making jokes about it being just a toy of a machine. But if I pulled it up next to the pond, it could reach in, grab material, and set it behind me. And I thought, well, maybe you ought to buy a cheaper tractor and then get one of those tiny little mini excavators. So I looked up yesterday to see what the smallest mini excavator that John Deere has, and it was a uh, 17G as far as I can find. Now if I'm wrong on that information, feel free to let me know. I just did a Google search. And I did a Google search on the price for that tiny little 17G mini excavator. And they're going for like $35,000. So for most people, the concept that instead of a tractor backhoe, I'll get a mini excavator, that's pretty tight. To fit that into most budgets so from a math perspective having a mini excavator it's a lot of rentals before you pay for a mini excavator and i desperately i would love nothing more than to buy a mini excavator but man that's a lot of rentals before you pay for one because a new one in the class and size that i want is probably seventy thousand, and so that's 71 week rentals and say you rented one five or six times a year 
you're talking like 12 to 15 years before you paid for the machine. But once again, at the end of that time, the mini excavator is not worthless. This is not an attempt to tell anyone what to do, because what do I know? I'm just some guy. What, it, what I'm out here to do is just share some thoughts, and then I'm going to read your comments, and it's a conversation. And it's meant to be helpful to someone who is in the market to buy a tractor and is trying to decide if the tractor backhoe is worth it. And I guess the last question, would I buy that again? Would I buy that? Well, to begin with, I don't think I'd buy the same tractor. But I think I'd find a way to not spend $50,000 on my tractor purchase. I'd probably get a cheaper tractor and get the backhoe is what I would do if I was buying one today. Feels like this video kind of wandered all over the place. I don't know if it made any sense or was helpful to anyone, but it is what it is. I'm just trying to share my thoughts. I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.